He caught you with one there, huh? It's okay. It happens. This is boxing, after all. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. Shit, but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah? And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. Congratulations on your victory, boy. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid!
What a challenge for Andre Bishop as round one is underway. Nobody over the course of the past nine years has been able to conquer Joel Savone. The Cuban has now been a nine-time champion of these World Amateur Games. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Little head knocking with that right hand. Oh, what an uppercut. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool like try to be a power puncher on a given night or do something ultra defensively that can be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy is going to be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So... Start one hand. He's going to be looking. He's going to react. Start the right hand. Just a little flinch of the right hand. Throw the left hand instead. This direction. Bishop starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. Protect yourself! How about that left hand? Bishop's putting forth a great combination there. Savone's defense is paying off now. Targeting that straight left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Way to block there. And another right hand comes in. And we come to the end of round number one. Here we go. Round two is underway. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Well, the nine-time gold medalist Joel Savone has not been in a position like this often. Andre Bishop has built up a big lead. The combo lands upstairs. Savone's able to land a nice, clean left hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. 90 seconds to go here in this round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Joel Savone's failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. He needs to adjust a little further out. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Solid. He didn't see that hook, and now he's seeing stars. And the subtle thing here is it wasn't just brute force. He didn't see it because it was time. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits. Have good fundamentals been put there. You're going to find out right now. He needs them right now. Good job on the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Bishop's left now getting into the mix. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Accurate with a straight left. Andre Bishop returns to the corner after just nailing his opponent a solid shot. Yeah, well, now Gus will tell him, stay after him, but he will also tell him, do it the right way with good defense. I really like what Andre Bishop is doing here. He's scoring well against the veteran Savone. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. 
Savone sticking to what we've always known of him, Teddy. The style hasn't changed, even though he was knocked down earlier. You know, a lot of trainers would say, hey, they pat him on the back. They say, there you go, kid. You know, stay with your identity. Just make sure that you correct a couple little things you need to correct. A big hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Nice job to land that counterpunch and getting away from one of his own by Andre Bishop. Andre Bishop's got that one gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's put those punches together. Big right hand. Oh, he's what a big shot. Unable to handle that combination. He is down on the canvas. Nobody was expecting this outcome. Nobody except for Andre Bishop. What confidence he had tonight as he scores the knockout victory over Joel Savone. Bishop is your gold medalist here at these World Amateur Games. Andre, how does it feel to be named fighter of the games? It's terrific, honestly. Being voted fighter of yeah, the games, baby. it's an honor. <laughs> gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, this is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop, I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor hey, just being... Hey, Bishop brothers are in the house, big baby Bishop, what? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, McQueen Promotions is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter at these games, period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Beautiful, kid. You got your father's power. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. <laughs> Gus, <laughs> despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. <laughs> always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you, too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way to the title is through me! Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you're a good egg. But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. She's 
right about Palmer. She's a smart girl, that man. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night of boxing here Aragon at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. I'm Joe Tessitore, the alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Boxing. So much to talk about tonight on this card. The thing that interests me, and so many of you out there, is the pro debut right, of Andre Bishop. The much-talked-about middleweight prospect will be debuting against Lucius Palmer, a veteran who looks to give him a test. The pro debut of Andre Bishop is underway. Round one here against Lucius Palmer. With that amateur pedigree of his, Palmer is going to be in store for quite a challenge. Remember, Bishop won the World Amateur Games. He's a gold medalist there. Palmer's hoping that his strategy of utilizing his jab pays off. How can it do so, Teddy? What will that bring to him? Well, it's going to bring a lot of things. First of all, defense, separation. It's going to keep his opponent at a distance where he can't harm him. If you're a fighter and a guy can't harm you, guess what? That's a good thing. The other thing is to set up his other punches. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. Look at that! The hook came home with ease. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Not one, but two. Good work with the jab up top. Well-placed hook there. Power puncher facing a high stamina guy, a well-conditioned guy. How can the well-conditioned fighter best guard his body so that the power puncher isn't targeting him? Well, move it. Get on his bicycle a little bit. Don't stay right in front. If that power puncher is the power puncher, that's his strength. But his weakness is he probably has to have you right in front. Give him angles. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Bishop's left landing well. Oh, and a big right hand lands. Big shot. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Palmer's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. We got a fighter who was knocked down earlier who, as you can see, is still going about his business the exact same way. Let's turn the tables a bit. If you're opposite that fighter, what do you want to do? What you want to do is just keep going. And, hey, you know that old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Well, he's giving it to you. Keep taking it. Keep going to that well until there's no more water. If he's giving you an opportunity to catch him with the same thing, keep doing it. Palmer's absorbing a hook. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go... Oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counter-punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Now he ties up there. Halfway through round number two. Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Andre Bishop. There's the combo downstairs. That's a nice right hand that time by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Combination to the head. You can actually see Lucius Palmer's been hurt by that. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Two, three, four, five. A 
knockout victory to start your career. As if the buzz isn't big enough for Andre Bishop. This will put fuel on that fire. He gets rid of Lucius Palmer. Impressive stuff. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects boxing has seen in decades. By beating a fighter the caliber of Palmer in his pro debut, no less, he definitely made a statement. Andre Bishop clearly a fighter to watch. In other news, heavyweight prospect Isaac Frost scoring the second knockout of his pro career, beating another overmatched opponent on the undercard of a McQueen pay-per-view in Las Vegas. He's now 2-0 with two KOs. The time has come. All the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his longtime trainer, Gus Carisi. Of course, Gus was one who very early on tapped Andre Bishop as a fighter to watch. He said he was full of potential. Yes, he was a tremendous amateur. He won the World Championship Tournament. From the State Palace Theater here in New Orleans, we welcome you to our middleweight main event, a much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. From the State Palace Theater the here the in New Orleans, New Orleans we welcome fight. you to our middleweight main event. A much-anticipated bout between Andre Bishop and Mike Walker. For the official introductions, we send it up to the ring. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Teddy, I think he's, look at that. A non-stop swarming attack puts him down. His opponent feels like he's in a rainstorm. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive that's a good job by bishop offensively he is not in good shape he could be on the deck and solid and for the second time tonight he goes down. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He All took right. us in after our parents died. Good. Keep that champ going. At 2-0, the Let's young upstart Andre Bishop is getting a lot of attention, and he has hours tonight. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to this night of boxing here at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans. Bishop looks to start his pro career 3-0 as he takes on Wilfred Rosario. His adversary, hailing out of one tunnel, Wilfred Rosario. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Rosario's got it all in front of him right now. 
standing opposite a guy who can leapfrog him into success. If he's able to pull off this upset, the sky's the limit. He gets all the things that we want. On the receiving end of a big and accurate hook that wasted no time. He's in bad shape. He's on wobbly legs. Teddy, he's got to tie up. If he can. See, that's up to his opponent. Rosario's clip and banging away he goes. Oh, and he goes down. First knockdown tonight. Rosario's now getting back up off the canvas. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Rashes home with a hook. If you're the well-rounded fighter in a matchup like this against the real... Rosario's almost out of it there. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Hard to imagine a better start to his... I kept winning fights. I got people's attention. My father told me to find out what it'll take to make you change your mind about working with us. It's easy. Yeah? Yeah. All you gotta do is change Gus's mind. What's that all? <laughs> you don't have a say in this? Sure I do. I say Gus is my manager. And I guess I'm gonna have to change Gus's mind. Good luck with that. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I was by Keyshawn Hayes' camp the other day. His trainer thinks you're a sucker for the left hook. Keyshawn says he's dropping you with it. Yeah? Well, Keyshawn Hayes entitled his own opinion, isn't he? Will Keyshawn Hayes be able to stop the Andre Bishop Express? Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4-0 as he faces Keyshawn Hayes. And his opponent across the ring by way of Newark. Kishan Hayes. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. This guy's got a mean left hook. He's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Number one is now, and yet another big shot comes in. Andre Bishop rocked by that power punch. Bishop is down. One, two, three. Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. Back and forth they go, each man getting the best of it. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. He is swinging for the fences trying to get his man after being hurt himself. And he ties up on the inside. There he goes with the right hand again. Hayes is hurt. Wow, is he a big shot there. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. One, two, three, four, five. Down he goes, 
But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Halfway through round number one. Hayes' blocking ability is doing well for him there. To the head he goes with a left hand. Nice jabs there by Andre Bishop. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Hayes is hurt by a big shot. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation... Oh, that's got to hurt. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. some way he's going to continue on here and if he's going to stay in this fight now he's going to avoid his opponent like the black plague bishop's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there landing a crisp combination <laughs> A new round underway here. Hayes is hoping that he doesn't make a defensive flaw like he did in the last round. That cost him a knockdown. See, that's where another set of eyes come in. That's where you depend on your corner. They're calm enough. They can see something that you didn't see, as hopefully the corner has told him what he did wrong. And Bishop is rocked by a left hook by Hayes. A little head hunting never hurt, does it with the... He gets floored with one single shot. He was just torn down like an old building. This fight is over. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly. What can I do for you, Mr. McQueen? Andre, I have to tell you something about your father. Before he died, he and I agreed to a deal. I was going to get him a title shot and let Gus stay on as his manager. Sadly, he never got a chance to tell Gus about it. I'll give you the same deal. Keep Gus as your trainer and manager. I'll promote your fights. Megan's young. She's got other fighters. And think about your brother. What about my brother? Raymond's got talent. Not your kind of talent, but <laughs> he's big. You see how big he is? He could be heavyweight champ someday. Isaac Frost looks unbeatable now. Ah, who knows? Be smart, Andre. Let me take you and Raymond to the top. Look, Mr. McQueen, I don't appreciate you talking about my father or trying to get me to go behind Gus's back. Stay away from my brother and stay away from me. Are we clear? You have no idea who you're fucking with, kid. Oh, good luck with Alvarez. But I got a feeling it's not going to be your night. Ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois for a much anticipated main event. Ricardo Alvarez is an established contender. Andre Bishop we went over the is rules a hot the rising room. prospect. Let's have a good clean Will fight. Will Bishop shine Touch in the up. spotlight? Well, everything he's done throughout his career from the amateurs to this moment now have prepared him for this moment. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. What does the jab offer him here? Victory. 
It's as simple as that. It sure is. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Andre Bishop. And now he's targeting upstairs. Gets him with the right hand. A crushing two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Blocks that punch. Teddy, talk to me about this matchup from a defensive side of the game when you have two speedy fighters matching up. Well, you know what? I'm going to whisper in my guy's ear a little bit. I'm going to say, you know what? Use his speed against him. Step out a little bit. Let him shadow box a little bit. There's nobody there. And when he misses, step right back in. Make him pay. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there. Land the right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Combo lands to the head. Good flush, straight left hand. See how he targets that hook? And just looking to chop down his opponent. A forceful hook to the head by Andre Bishop. Bishop's not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Look at the accuracy with that hook upstairs. Super hook by Andre Bishop. And this... Kid, the judges ain't even watching this fight. I can see it in their eyes. McQueen fucked us. We're not winning any decisions tonight. Means you gotta knock this guy on the canvas. Understand? Knock him on his ass. Here we go. Round two is underway. Well, this second round has brought out the best in Andre Bishop. He is unloading an attack. And when you have somebody throwing long punches, what you don't want to do is what he did. Pull back straight. Solid shot. The left hand came in. He's in bad shape. Maybe a punch or two more, and he's on the canvas. Teddy, what does he need to think about now? Well, one of the things that he can't think about, he loves... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. He got rocked. He just got rocked, and he's still taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on a little bit, stop this flow. Here in round number two, you get the sense that Andre Bishop really wants to impress. Look at this offensive surge he's putting forth. Andre Bishop, oh, he is stunned. He could go down. That's nice work by Bishop there, landing the left hand. Andre Bishop getting to his opponent's head. Nice job by Bishop with the power shot. Scores up top with a left. Good power punch. The right hand landed. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for them. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landed. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Able to dismiss it. Good right hand. How about that left right there? Oh, boy, what a break he just caught. The bell rings at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. And if you're in the corner, what do you do? Well, you just finished painting the house, you know, and you want to paint a little more, but the paint is still wet. You got to wait for it to dry a little bit. You got to wait for your guy to wake up. You got to wait for the cobwebs to go away before you can do more painting. Andre Bishop's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands 
that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that the opponent hasn't recovered. Solid left hand. Jump on. Scored well up top. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. This is why so many feel Andre Bishop has such a bright future. Look at the countering ability again. Good, solid right hand lands. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hell. What a shot. Big hook comes in. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving, you know, all of a sudden. Wow, nice flush left hand. Bishop's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it. And now he's got to be careful. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Bishop show. Oh, what a left hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. And round three comes to an end. How about a return to center with the left hand? Nice combination there. well upstairs with the right hand. He gets to him with an undercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape. Wow! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Eleven and zero. We were ready to make a move. My future looked bright. Nice place. The gym's closed, fellas. We didn't come here to work out. What's going on? We came to have a little talk. Thought they were McQueen's thugs. But they were cops. Dirty cops on McQueen's payroll. Wrong fucking move, kid. Wrong fucking move. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Kenny, and welcome to Friday Night Fights here on ESPN. Before we get into tonight's action, some shocking news this week involving middleweight prospect and amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop. Reports are coming in that Bishop has been arrested for allegedly carrying an unlicensed firearm and assaulting two police officers. Details remain spotty, but the word is there was an altercation in the late hours of the evening between Bishop and the police at Carisi's Boxing Club, the gym where Bishop trains. The word of two decorated police officers was all it took. My dreams, my freedom, everything was taken from me. Nobody could help me. I had to help myself. I couldn't let this place beat me. I did what I had to do. I fought. Those crackers have been talking so much about kicking your ass, they think they can take you one-on-one. -on -one. I had to agree to some conditions, though. Bare knuckles. No refs, no rounds. 
fight until somebody quits. Or can't get up. I like those conditions. And let's go get it on. Remember now, that professional boxing shit ain't gonna help you here. You got to knock this motherfucker out. I hear about you signing with D.L. McQueen. <laughs> no way, Adrian. Yo, Ms. McQueen told me Papa's gonna do the same thing. And you believe that? I believe this. <laughs> Yo, Mr. McQueen has done a lot for me. And Dre, I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna let him keep doing what he's doing. Raymond, you'd be smart to stay away from McQueen, man. I always wanted you I to... I ain't you, Dre. I'm me. I'm a heavyweight, Mr. McQueen. Mr. McQueen believes I can be the champ. The champ. I'm going for it, brother. I gotta do what's best for me. How's Gus taking him? I had to let Gus go. Raymond, no! I didn't have no choice, Dre. Gus can't give me a shot at the title. Mr. McQueen can. Dad realized that too late and I can't make that same mistake. I gotta do what's best for me and not what's best for Gus. Dre. Come on, man, you understand. It's like that. It's like that, Dre. It's like that. Gus retired from boxing. Isaac Frost became heavyweight champion. Baby brother was fulfilling his dream. And here, it's the same old business. Time to skin another head.
fucking be. Hey, motherfucker. This shit isn't finished. What the hell are you talking about? I'm ready to fight right now. Get your boy ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just had a fight. He ain't had time to rest. I don't fucking care, Ace. He's gonna fight me right now, or there's gonna be serious problems. Okay? Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> I served my full sentence. I lost my youth. I lost my career. I lost my dream. Now what? Baby brother got me a job as an assistant trainer. Listen for the bell, man. Relax, Potter boy. Very lucky for an ex-con to have a job. That's what I like to see. A brother taking care of his brother. Andre, welcome back. Hey, Mr. McQueen. Raymond? Andre, you remember Mr. Franco. Andre. Mr. Franco has retired from the force. Works for me now. Must be a big change for you. Hope you learned to stay out of trouble. Now he's learned his lesson. Andre. I'm sorry the way things worked out for you. But I've been taking good care of Raymond while you were away. We can't afford distractions. I hope we can count on you to help your brother. It was good just to be back in the gym. It was good to see baby brother doing his thing. It was good to be back in the gym. Put your weight in your lead foot. Turn your hips more. It'll increase your power. There you go. Thanks for the advice. This gym's got a reputation. I can't have people looking in here seeing you slap boxing. <laughs> Jokes, huh? Nice. I was starting to think you didn't like me. Yeah, well. Being on the outside takes some getting used to. I guess I'm still adjusting. I like you just fine, Megan. Always have. I never liked Mason Brooks. What the fuck was that, Brooks? You're supposed to be sparring. Oh, fuck you, has been. The shit wasn't low. Fuck you know about it anyway. You ain't even a fighter no more. Why don't you go clean some toilets or something? Whatever. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Go clean them toilets. <laughs> yeah, I left something in there for you, too. Yo, Brooks, chill out. Oh, what? You want to do something about it? Get out of the ring, Raymond. Dre, what, what you mean? Raymond, get out of the ring.
I heard you beat up one of my heavyweights. Look, I'm sorry. All right, we, we were we were sparring. I didn't want to... Mason Brooks is an asshole. He needed that beat down. I like him better already. In that case, I'm happy to help Mason become a better person. Mason's a ranked heavyweight. You whipped a ranked heavyweight. You're still in great shape, Andre. I can get you work as a sparring partner. Are you serious? Antoine Barr's camp starts in two weeks. See me? Have a seat. You sparred with two heavyweights, and you whipped both their asses. Andre, you could make a comeback. And how am I gonna do that? With my help? I still want to be your manager, Andre. How would your father feel about that? I no longer work for DL. We have philosophical differences. But I can get you a license, and I can get you a fight. If you want to fight. Of course he wants to fight. It's in his blood, Gus. Uh. <laughs> I'm coming out of retirement too, kid. <laughs> Told you I'd change his mind. <laughs> Jailhouse boxing makes you tough, but it ain't professional. You know that, kid. You're a heavyweight now. Heavyweight is a different world than middleweight. I don't want you to embarrass yourself, so look, we're gonna start with a couple of low-key fights in Mexico. These guys are durable, and they will be coming to fight. Hola, senores y caballeros. Hi, everybody, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event. Six rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. 
from Obregon, Antonio Chavez. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Here we go, round number one, scheduled for six. Well, this could come down to the disposition of each fighter. Chavez's chances could depend on how he does playing that role of ultimate underdog and how his opponent does of playing the role of heavy favorite. Yeah, well, what he hopes right now is that his opponent takes him for granted, overlooks him a little bit. But as the underdog, that's the benefit. You're not overlooking anybody. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Chavez's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is the block. He did it there well. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Bishop's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, Chris. Chavez is tagged by a right. Oh! He goes down. A barrage of punches just put him down. Get the young fellas out. It is waiting punches here. One, two, three, four, five. Chavez is back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Chavez is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Puncher versus the high stamina fighter. How does the high stamina fighter want this fight to unfold as it goes on? Well, the high stamina fighter, what he wants to do is he wants to get a lead. Get the lead, go out there quick out of the gate, and then later on you have the power puncher looking for one shot at a time. He's going to be searching him. Chavez is hurt by a big shot. Nice work with the overhand right. Did you see that? Oh, he doesn't look good. He just went down, and not the way he wanted it to go. Now he's standing on the outside, Joe. He shouldn't be standing there. The old-timers would say, take a walk around the block. One, two, three. Here we go, round two is underway. Solid hook. Up top with the quick hook. Bishop's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Chavez is able to land a good, solid left hand. Big, big shot he just scored with. Can you believe that? What a huge punch. You couldn't have seen that one coming. And those are the ones you usually don't prepare for. You prepare for the ones that are more sophisticated, the ones that are a little tighter in the gym. You don't have training for Two, these. Three, four, five, six. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, Andre Fischer. Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. Big pay-per-view this past weekend. Isaac Frost defending his heavyweight title again, stopping Reggie Stewart in two rounds for his 14th successful title defense. Promoter D.L. McQueen has begun touting Frost as one of, if not the greatest champions of all time. That seems a bit premature, but there's no arguing with Frost's record. Undefeated, all his wins coming by knockout. Quite a feat. In other news, can former middleweight contender Andre Bishop make a comeback after spending more than five years in prison? And can he do it as a heavyweight? It's one of the more fascinating stories in sports. We'll, of course, have the latest for you here on Friday Night Fights. The Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City is home to our boxing car tonight and is headlined by a heavyweight clash. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. This is just the second fight at heavyweight 
We went over former middleweight prospect, the American Andre Bishop. Tonight, Bishop will face Raul Castillo. Let's give you something to look for right from the start with Raul Castillo as round one is underway. Castillo is a fierce body puncher. Andre Bishop has had to do his scouting report and know that. Look for him to stay at a safe range and not let Castillo get to the inside. Wow, just like the old timers, a four punch combination. Bishop's nailed by a hook. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Well, Bishop was dead on with his scouting report. Castillo's trying to get to the inside, get right in front of him, and crash home to that body. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Well, I like the way he went to the body with that hook. Putting his punches together, good combination by Andre Bishop. What role can the fans play on the fighters, the atmosphere of the arena, when they know there's two guys meeting up that can bang? An immature fighter, a less experienced fighter, can get caught up. He can try to satisfy the audience. That's a quick way to be going into the shower earlier than you wanted to. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Blocks away that headshot. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. And now looking to hang on. Andre Bishop has to be concerned with how he'll fare in the later stages of this fight, considering how many body shots he's taking here. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Nice strike after catching one by Raul Castillo. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skill, see, that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Andre Bishop has always been known as a fast fighter. He's had that hand speed as a middleweight. And now it's transferred into his heavyweight days as he lands the hook there. And now he scores with that left to the body. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. This is what they worked on in training camp. Another good combo by Andre Bishop. A little head hunting with the right. That is a strong uppercut there. And he's holding. Bishop's left working well that time. Boy, Castillo's really banging that drum. He's hitting Andre's body with ease. Bishop's put forth a little boom, boom, boom. A three-punch combination score. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. And you know what? That kind of speed can intimidate a guy and keep his opponent maybe from moving his hands later on. Bishop's the kind of... Oh, he is absolutely... Oh, and there you go. He is not meant for life on the outside there, and he just paid the price. He goes down. Because he didn't make his mind up. If you're not going to work out in front, get to a distance where you're safe. He stood there at a bad distance. No man's land. Castillo's up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a good headshot. The hook landed by Andre Bishop. Targeting that head with the combination punching. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Raul Castillo, there it is! And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the hometown favorite is knocked out tonight. The American Andre Bishop gets a knockout victory here in Mexico City against Raul Castillo.
Mexico City was a big success. People are talking about Andre Bishop again. <sighs> Welcome back. It feels good to be back. Thanks, Megan, for everything. I know Franco and my father set you up. I can't prove it, but I know it. You wouldn't do something like that. I know what kind of man you are. And I know what kind of man my father is. You know, it doesn't even matter anymore. I did the time. It matters to me, Andre. So what now? We gotta get you cleaned up. <laughs> Well, well, will you look at this? Huh? You don't look like a bum no more. Thanks, Gus. Hey, thank me later. Let's get to work. Come on. Come on. Nice work, Megan. You too, Gus. Well, this could be a major hurdle to overcome for Andre Bishop. Look at this replay. I believe this is where he hurts that right hand. All right, kid, how you doing? My right hands, bro. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Use my left. <laughs> it's all about heart, kid. It's all about heart. And a good stiff left jab. what you should be looking for here at the start of round number two. How much is Andre Bishop using that right hand? Because it appeared that he severely injured it, if not broke it there in that first round. Well, one of the things he has to do, Joe, is make sure that nobody other than us knows that he hurt that hand. He's got to go out there and not show his opponent that that's bothered him. Use the left hand, maybe every once in a while, fake like you're going to throw the right hand so your opponent doesn't know doesn't take advantage of that fact. And just look at Andre Bishop now. He's throwing many left hands, very few right hands, and that gives us some confirmation that that right hand was indeed injured in that first round. Andre Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. That's a fierce left hand that landed by Andre Bishop. Meldrick Johnson's feeling the effects now of that hook. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Halfway through this round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Meldrick Johnson. And now he's targeting upstairs. What a sharp, piercing hook by Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's hurt by a superb hook to the head. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Johnson's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Snaps that jab out. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. So Andre Bishop throws a right hand there, but it's actually more damaging to him than to Meldrick Johnson. You want this fight? Because listen to me, man. You know, if you want this fight, you got to stay busy out there, all right? Because you'll... Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Andre Bishop's got a real acquired skill here, and that is the ability to pick your shots and land them. So you hear the saying where people say, do you know what time it is? You have to know what time it is. He knows what time it is. He knows when to throw a certain punch. Here's the bad news for Andre Bishop. He is not able to land that left hand, and that's all he has. Solid left hand to the head. Johnson's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Every time Andre Bishop throws that right hand, he winces. He is in serious pain. 
The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. DeAndre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Andre Bishop. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. The final minute of a round that feels like 30 minutes, not three minutes. And this is the kind of fight where you just don't want to have a loser. They're both winners. Goes up top with a right hand. Good flush shot by Andre Bishop. There's another left hand from him. Good biting, snapping shot by Andre Bishop. Johnson's corner has to give him some advice here because that left hand has been scoring too consistently. Exactly, Joe, and there's nothing else that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. And that's the end of round three. Good action throughout. We'll see if it keeps up in this round what has been a very even fight. Well-timed by Andre Bishop. He took a step back, leaned to the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Little head-hunting with the left. Johnson's once again the target of a hook. Andre Bishop getting back to basics, landing that right hand. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. And now a well-placed hook to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Meldrick Johnson. Bishop's jab lands well. Able to land the hook to the head. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Double jab by Andre Bishop. Meldrick Johnson's tagged by that powerful hook. And he just holds on there. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's feeling the impact of that powerful hook. Unbelievable work there landing a four-punch combo. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Johnson's the target of Meldrick Johnson's crushed by a big left hand. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does not look good right now, expecting the clinch. Johnson's just being swarmed. He just got stunned. He got absolutely nailed. Andre Bishop is not showing the reserve of energy that we're used to seeing with him. Yeah, you just wondered. He was a little overconfident coming into his fight. Did not prepare properly. Didn't do all his work in the gym. Keep them up, all right? We showed you the video evidence earlier where we saw the replay of Andre Bishop injuring that right hand. The word we're getting ringside is that that injury dates back a bit, and it may be the cause of all his problems. They say he injured that right hand while he was in jail. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. What a forceful hook by Andre Bishop. Bishop's landing a Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of the... Solid. That combination puts him down. With a warrior spirit to fight on, Andre Bishop defeats Meldrick Johnson by knockout. Isaac, what do you think of Andre Bishop as a challenger? I think you're an idiot for asking me that question. You get paid to do this? It's your first show? Challenger. I think it'll be a challenge not to kill Andre Bishop. Little Andre can't even throw a punch without breaking his hand. 
Those were Isaac Frost's words just a few short months ago after Andre Bishop apparently hurt his hand in a fight right here on ESPN. After only taking a short break to let the hand mend, Andre Bishop back in action tonight against heavyweight contender Reggie Stewart. Many are interested to see if the injury will have lingering effects on Bishop in what should be a very entertaining heavyweight matchup. Let's go back ringside to Joe and Teddy. Boardwalk Hall here in Atlantic City, the next stop for the heavyweight career of one Andre Bishop. How's it feel? Feels good. Feels real good. Good. Because you got to knock this guy out with him. It's time to show the world that Andre Bishop is as good as Neil. Bishop's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. I never show signs of fatigue or turn tired, because I'm the definition of transitory. Remember, it was just a fight ago when Andre Bishop broke his right hand against Meldrick Johnson. Now he swears he's back to full health here against Reggie Stewart. Let's find out round one underway. Bishop's on the receiving end of a very good counterpunch. And there's a right hand by Andre Bishop and another. That's a good sign. On the mark with the combination by Andre Bishop. Solid hook upstairs. Andre Bishop's right hand scores well that time. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Stewart's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Oh, you gotta like that hook by Stewart. A well-placed left hand up top. Well, we've been waiting all week to call this one. Teddy, what kind of fight are you expecting? Well, the kind of guys that they get insulted if you miss them, Joe. Bishop's combination punching working out well there. He landed three solid shots. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. When you have a lot of speed, how effective can a feint be? Oh, boy, it can be really effective because your opponent is keyed up already. Before the bell even rings, he's jumping out of his shoes. He's waiting for something to come quick. So you let him think it's coming, he's going to react to it. And then you go get him. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Flush right hand to the head. Ten seconds to go in this round. Good right hand by Andre Bishop. He needs more of that. Good headshot by Andre Bishop. That's a damaging blow. Teddy, I'll tell you what I like out of that round from Andre Bishop. It's a building block. He has a lot to look forward to the rest of this fight now. Yeah, it's confidence. Gives him a little momentum. And it also shows you his amateur background. I mean, he showed you that he could do things inside and outside. Hundreds of amateur fights will teach you that. Nice strike after catching one by Reggie Stewart. I hope Reggie Stewart didn't think Andre Bishop wasn't going to throw that right hand. He has no qualms about letting it go. How about that bombs away to the head by Andre Bishop? Well, there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in. You see him backing him up against the ropes. Great work offensively landing that combination by Andre Bishop. Bishop's hand speed right now, the difference with what we just saw, able to land that combination. Yeah, he's probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Good looking two punch combo by Andre Bishop. That's what Andre Bishop wants to do right there, land the right hand. You see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. This is why the fans love this game when it's at its absolute best. This round can't get any better, yet they're trying to make it better. It's wearing us out. Imagine what they feel like. Oh, what a hook upstairs. A sound combination by Andre Bishop. A nice clean jab by Stewart. Takes 
one but gives one. Good work by Reggie Stewart. Nice solid left hand scored by Andre Bishop. A little double jab to the head. That's a bitter hook by Reggie Stewart. How about that left hand? Good job. It was sudden. It was fast. It was direct by Stewart. Bishop went out there in that last round and just executed his game plan beautifully. He won it with ease. Yeah, he not only has skill, see, that's what I like about him. We have a lot of guys that have speed, they have power, but he fundamentally puts it together. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. He's committed to the combination punching now, and it's working out well up top. For those of you who question Andre Bishop's broken right hand, here's a good example of how he feels about it. He's throwing it. Well, his opponent is opening up. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. Andre Bishop staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Able to cut down that ring and just push his opponent against the ropes. Stewart's rocked by that punch. He was... What a big shot. Reggie Stewart's chin unable to withstand that combination. to get up to his feet after that knockdown but teddy it's what's ahead that's the problem yeah we're getting a peek right now into his heart into his soul a little give and take and here comes the left hand takes a step back then the counter punch by andre bishop very similar to what you see floyd mayweather do you know make a miss pull that shoulder back and then come right back with the counter Targeting upstairs. A little head hunting right back to it. An accurate left by Stewart. Scored well up top. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. Andre Bishop just dropped his opponent in that last round. Trainer Gus Carisi may know that the end is near. He knows the possibility is there, Joe, no doubt about that, but he wants to make sure that his charge does not get careless either. He goes and finishes the job the right way. Bishop's had success so far, just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some concern. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with a real fast car. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit right now his opponent needs to change that landscape don't give him that racetrack step out of range a little bit and leave him there let him shadow box but don't stay in a position where he can be effective stewart's hit by a right hand he got rocked big shot well we know he survived earlier but now he goes down for a second time There is no doubt that Andre Bishop's right hand is perfectly fine. An impressive knockout victory with that right mitt. He takes care of Reggie Stewart in spectacular fashion. Isaac, which Bishop brother hits harder? Which Bishop brother hits harder? That's your question? I get these people. Well, neither one of them can punch like me. I can guarantee you that. But between the two of them? Well, I'd say little Andre hits harder. I mean, the jailbird's washed up now. I mean, he was a genuine contender. But the big baby... Well, the big baby has always been a pretender. and Max Center here in Las Vegas we present heavyweight action Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you as Andre Bishop looks to stay perfect as he faces Dwight Cooper remember guys obey my commands at all times 
Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. Round number one between Bishop and Cooper. Of course, Bishop has all the career momentum with the thing. Cooper catches Bishop clean. And oh no, there's blood over the right eye. Andre Bishop is now in a tough spot. Well, his corner man's gonna have to take care of him. The cup man's gonna have to stop that bleeding. But that has to serve as a warning of things to come. Be aware now, be better. Bishop snapping that jab. Bishop with a nice combination, a good old one-two landing on Dwight Cooper. Teddy, you see that cut right there? When you're in a spot like that, do you tell your charge, hey, go after it, worse than that cut? No, actually I don't because obviously he did something right to open it up to begin with. Just keep doing those things right, setting it up. If you look for only that, you forget the things that got you there. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Good jab by Cooper. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. How important is it for a big heavy hitter, a power puncher, to have space, to not be smothered? Well, he can't use his power if he's in a phone booth, so to speak. He has to have a little bit of room to be able to use that great weapon. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. Bishop able to land solidly against Cooper. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Lands a big hook. A lot of blood now coming from above that right eye of Andre Bishop. That cut that Cooper opened up is significant. You know, some fighters handle punches all right. They get tested, you know, they get dropped, they get up, but they get cut. They don't handle that, they panic. We're going to find out now his mental state, how strong he is in that area. Does he handle this the way he needs to? Bishop now utilizing that jab against Cooper. hurt by a superb hook to the head. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Now that looks like a middleweight fighting a heavyweight there. Look at the hand speed from Bishop. And that's exactly the advantage he was going to need coming into this fight to beat the bigger man. Andre Bishop's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Scores up top with a left. There's Cooper putting out that jab. You can see the trouble that Bishop has had with it. Bishop needs to be so careful right now that the ref doesn't stop that fight because Cooper is landing punch after punch against that cut eye. Good one-two from Bishop. He landed that right hand flush against Cooper. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one-two. Boom, boom. Bishop's the target of a hook. An accurate left by Andre Bishop. Looks to the head. And we come to the end of round number two. Here you go. And round number three is underway. See, that's what the corner should do for Andre Bishop. You send him out there as a fresher, better fighter. He looks fine here to start this round. Bishop's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. That is boxing 101. A nice, 
crisp combination by Andre Bishop. Great combination from Bishop. There's an excellent combination by Andre Bishop. That makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. This is a real concern now for He did not see that right. Big, big shot he just scored with. Dwight Cooper's unable to withstand that combination. That's what happens when you cover a little slow. Continue on, beating the count. Cooper's corner is concerned. Look at that. He just went down. The infighter went out. And now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cooper's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you'd give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Gus Carisi really pounds it into the head of Andre Bishop. That good skill, good technique will get you the results. It got them a knockdown in that last round. And it got my attention. I'm impressed because I'm not surprised he has power that he scored a knockdown, but I love the way he did it with short punches, really smart. Bishop's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him probably good advice. They know that the opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Good one, too, by Andre Bishop. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Andre Bishop's combination punching is working well here. It's one thing for the corner of Andre Bishop to tend to that cup between rounds, but Bishop himself has to protect it, and he's doing a good job of blocking punches that are targeting it from Cooper. A solid one-two combo, left-right by Andre Bishop. Little head knocking with that right hand. Cooper's left landing well. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Solid right by Andre Bishop. Give credit to Dwight Cooper. He has gone on the attack against that cut over the eye of Andre Bishop. He's trying to earn himself a TKO victory here. Andre Bishop showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And round four comes to an end. There you go. Number five has arrived. Bishop's got a little hop in his step as he's ready to start this round. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. Cooper's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. This is not a good sign for Andre Bishop. It appears that he's slowing at this point. Yeah, what he needs to do is start placing his shots a little bit. But right now... Cooper! 
been hurt. Oh, that was a smart move right there. He was hurt, but then he held on. Absolutely, Joe, but a stupid move, a bad move. But a Dwight Cooper, wow! Knocked down again. Unreal. Now you gotta wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they gonna stop this? Ray Bishop saw his own blood and became a raging bull. The knockout over Dwight Cooper is his. DL has agreed to a fight between you and Kobe Nichols. If we beat Nichols, we'll be in the top 10. What are the conditions? He says there aren't any. There's always conditions with DL. I'm sure we'll find out what they are. But we really need this fight. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. This should be a very interesting one tonight. Ten-round heavyweight fight between eighth-ranked Kobe Nichols and the upstart, the comebacking Andre Bishop. Well, back in the 1900s, the early 1900s, the 1920s, the 1930s, all those great fighters, they used to move up in weight, from lightweight to middleweight to heavyweight, and they used to beat bigger guys. Why? They were faster, they were smarter. Bishop gets a chance to show that he's one of those guys. Nichols is coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen, but they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. So we are underway between Andre Bishop and Kobe Nichols as Bishop looking to carry that unbeaten streak forward here. Little head knocking with that right hand. A piercing jab by Andre Bishop. Really solid left hand by Andre Bishop. That's exactly what his corner wants him to do. Nichols is tagged by a hook. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy, we've seen both these guys before, and we have a feeling, we just kind of have the feeling that it could be one of those special nights. Yeah, because their styles, it suits up for one of those special nights. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by Nichols. When we get matchups like this, guys that just won't quit, they'll be there every step of the way like Gaddy Ward. Keep it Sometimes clean, guys. there comes a point where one fighter thinks he's got himself an advantage. He's done something great. But then the other fighter doesn't go away. How does that play out in the minds of each fighter? Usually it doesn't affect the kind of guys you just mentioned, Gaddy and Ward. They're made how to cement these guys. They're already set in their ways. They know what they have to do. They're not going to get thrown off just because somebody's still there. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Really brought it that time. A four-punch combination. A Keep it flush clean, hook scores well for him. He comes right back at him with a left hand. Andre Bishop will need to do more of that. Bishop is very conscious of the fact that he does not want to get tagged hard. He blocked well there. Very accurate two-punch combo. The South Lopez. I know, kid, I know. McQueen's got this referee in his pocket. That's his condition for giving me this fight. I lose. No, ain't gonna happen. That's right, kid. You're gonna wear this guy out. Okay? Keep moving. Keep that jab in his face. Counter upstairs when he opens up the punch. Do not go to the body. Upstairs. You got it? I got it. Stay upstairs. Here we go. Round two is underway.
sharp hook by Andre Bishop. Not guarding his body well at all. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. Nichols is on the fat end of a big hook upstairs. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Kobe Nichols. Bishop's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Good left hand by Andre Bishop. Solid right by Andre Bishop. How about that? He lands a big shot there. He set the table, and he went. Big left hand. away he goes he goes down in the later stages of this round he's gonna try to survive it One, and two, three, four, five. he went down from a big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're gonna find out exactly what he's made of This is so unfortunate. You just want the fighters in the ring to decide it. But to have this referee play such a big role in this fight, Teddy, Bishop's not going to the body anymore because of these low blows being called against him. You know, it wouldn't be such a big deal if Bishop was just a headhunter. But a big part of his fight, a big part of his game is going downstairs. He got caught by that right hand. He never... Big, big shot comes crashing home. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? One, two, three, four, five. Nichols is able to get up. Kenny, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your fight. And yet another big shot comes in. Unbelievable. Just the barrage continues. He's knocked down again. But his desired heart is just as strong as it was before. Two, three, four, five. Andre Bishop knocks out. Kobe Nichols, and consider this, he fought the majority of the fight with hesitance for going to the body. Andre, I know you don't want to fight your brother, but I remind you, this meeting was not my idea, it was Raymond's. I need this fight, Dre. The public has doubts about who deserves to fight for the title, me or you. You stole your brother's thunder, Andre. Man, I didn't steal anything. It's not about that. I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Sorry, Raymond. I, I didn't mean to... As my brother, you owe me the chance to prove myself. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. Andre Bishop's latest win over top contender Kobe Nichols puts him squarely in the heavyweight title picture. After years of dominance by the champion Isaac Frost, we now have a situation where both Bishop brothers are considered legitimate challengers for the title. The surprising news from the offices of promoter D.L. McQueen this week is that the Bishop brothers have signed to fight each other, a heavyweight eliminator that's already being billed as sibling rivalry. The winner will earn the right to face Frost in what could be the biggest championship fight in decades. Welcome to Las Vegas and the MGM Grand, where we have one of the most anticipated and by far unique heavyweight fights we've ever brought you. Brother against brother, a strange and at odds, now Andre Bishop and Raymond Bishop face off in a heavyweight eliminator. For the winner, they get a shot at the world champion, Isaac Frost. Teddy, 
These are unique circumstances. You know, to be a top fighter, Joe, one of the things that sometimes a lot of the audience might not understand, they know that you have to go after the guy, you have to be aggressive, you have to be in shape, you have to be confident, you have to have talent, but you have to control your emotions. How on earth do you control your emotions when you're fighting your brother? This isn't their backyard. This isn't a pillow fight. This is brother versus brother for all the marbles. A chance to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. Round number one underway. Like what I see in there. Turns fire with a left hand. Scored well up top. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Well placed hook. What an excellent two punch combo by Andre Bishop. Now hugging on the inside. Very nice defensive guard there. See, that's the work they want to see with the right hand by Raymond Bishop. Good defensive skill. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Raymond Bishop. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Andre Bishop. End of round. What's going on, kid? You look like crap out there. I mean, let's pick it up, okay? He might be your little brother. He's got a big punch. At least gonna put you on your ass if you're not careful. So let's get it together. Now! I've been Big Baby Bishop ever since you won the gold medal. I never had a chance to be anything else. Never even had a chance to be my own man. Here we go. Round two is underway. Bishop is on the canvas. This is where an aggressive attitude and personality. One. You out, big brother. <laughs> Brian Kenny back here on Friday Night Fights. A shocking turn of events in the battle between the Bishop brothers this past weekend as Raymond knocks out his older brother, Andre. Andre was unable to beat the count after a big right hand from Big Baby in the second round. The stage is now set for a heavyweight showdown between Raymond Bishop and the champion, Isaac Frost. We are glad to be here with you. I'm Joe Jessator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Tonight, Isaac Frost puts the belt up against Raymond Bishop. Of course, Frost, one of the most intimidating forces in the sport, a pure power puncher, Teddy, if there ever was one. Yeah, Bishop's going to have to go back and look at some of those alley listen tapes. You know, Frost is kind of like a listen, very intimidating, very strong. Bishop's gonna have to do the same thing Ali did in beating Liston. 
Not be intimidated by him. Go out there, show him who the boss is, but at the same time, stay away, be smart. Isaac Frost really keyed in for this one. You can see it as he makes his walk to the ring. The two titans collide here. The heavyweight champion Isaac Frost underway with action against Raymond Bishop. Raymond Bishop's damaged by a left hand. Big shot there. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. One, two, three, four. The knockdown scored against Raymond Bishop. How will Big Baby Bishop react? Big man with the big walking stick, Isaac. situation has developed Ray. here. The paramedics Ray, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Please, 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 Bishop please. is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you... Let me do it. Listen, I'm not going to cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. That's all for now. Please. What, no, please. Tell Andre Bishop, he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out? Good night, Megan. Good night, D.L. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me that I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, a fine boxer, a fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce E.L. McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight. The champion.
has been demanding the fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. We welcome you to Las Vegas, where the heavyweight championship of the world is on the line. Isaac Frost looks to defend his title against Andre Bishop. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. And who would have ever thought we would see this in the career of Andre Bishop? The comeback kid, now looking for revenge. They say it's best served chilled. Here, it's red hot. We know what happened to his younger brother, Raymond. He was beaten down by Isaac Frost. Now Andre tries to save the family name. And we also know that, of course, emotions run high. Of course, you want to be passionate about what you do. You want to get after somebody. But in this sport, emotions can be your worst enemy. He's got to control those emotions. Frost making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Okay, this is good, this is good. Any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Yeah, I got one. That's a little Raymond, Bill, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 break it up. I wanna see a nice, clean fight. Touch up. This guy is a freaking animal. Don't even try to win the first couple of rounds. Just survive. Let him tire himself out. Yeah, I got it. I mean it, kid! This guy's a friggin' animal! You see what he done to Raymond? Use your feet. Keep your hands up. Stick around for a couple of rounds and he'll get frustrated. I guarantee you. I got it, Gus. Unstoppable, intimidating heavyweight champion Isaac Frost and Andre Bishop. His brother Raymond didn't survive that first round. How will Andre fare? against a guy who's well conditioned. Now, early on, what do you look for in a matchup like that? You want to make sure that if you're with the power puncher, you don't go out there chasing after the guy. You use all your tools. You use your jab, and you control him. You make him think about your power so he's not controlling around. Turns over that hook, and he does damage upstairs. Bishop's isn't even moving at all right now. He's not doing anything. Final 10 seconds of round number one. When the dangerous power punching world champion Isaac Frost fought Raymond Bishop, Andre's younger brother, he had damaged him at this point of the fight. Not the case tonight as Andre is playing it safe. Well, I think what the case is tonight is Bishop learned from the mistakes of his younger brother. He's not making those mistakes. He's not standing in front of the bigger force too long. He's controlling his ego. He's keeping it all about business. 
shake it off. That's a big flush punch landing on Andre Bishop. This is not the first time that Andre Bishop has been brought to this. Wow. And that shot puts Andre Bishop down. Now his personality hurts him because he's going to want to get right after the guy, and he shouldn't. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. Well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Right now, he has to think about defense. Nice block by Andre Bishop. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Frost able to land a nice, clean left hand. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Good work, Ted. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. He's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man. Start of a new round. Andre Bishop's making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Keep working the body. Let's see some Bishop's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, earlier you saw what happened to him. He was stunned. He got tagged in this fight. He got hit hard. Now you're seeing the kind of mentality that's going to try to avoid that happening again. But, Teddy, it's not necessarily the kind of mentality that's going to win you a fight. No, if you're in the corner with him, you know what you tell him, Joe? You tell him, look, you're being tested now. I understand you've been hurt. I understand you're looking to survive right now. But you're being tested for the first time in your life. Do you want to be a champion? Do you want to be special? Special people find a way to get out of this and still offensively go forward. Yeah, he's got to answer those questions. You need to commit to the body shots, Andre. Slow this guy down you know, take some of that power away from him by the length.
got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Body, body, watch the body again. The body. You got to protect you. And Bishop is stunned. He just took a huge punch. Good left hand by Frost. Well, it's a tough moment for Andre Bishop right now. He's hurt. I oh! Andre Bishop down. Will he be able to survive this? Bishop's showing you what he is made of, getting up off the canvas after being knocked down. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Nice block by Andre Bishop. Turns over that hook upstairs. Nice work, guys. Well, this is turning into an interesting fight now because Andre Bishop is actually having success landing body punches against the world champion, Isaac Frost. Well, Bishop's trying to remove some of that air out of the balloon. Go downstairs, slow him down a little bit. Maybe discourage him a little bit. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. Come on, champ. Don't let him tap the body. Andre Bishop's not firing off the big power punches. I gotta wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what a count. And Isaac Frost able to open up a cut above Andre Bishop's eye. That is not, not a good sign for the challenger. I think Isaac Frost can actually knock out a guy with the jab. It started in round four, and here in round number six, we're seeing more of the same. A solid body attack by Andre Bishop. Watch the body shots, champ. You got to protect him. Bang the body. Oh, and another body shot by Andre Bishop. They both decide to bring it. Three minutes. How about that, guys? No, oh, it ain't pretty. But we can handle it. You gotta give us some time, Trey. Protect that eye. Don't let Frost touch it or the ref will stop this fight for sure. No way. Mm. Give us a couple of rounds. We'll get it under control. Don't let him mess it up. I got you. here tonight both guys bringing their best and both guys Keep meeting up. each other stride for stride punch for punch tough fight to score here as we're back Don't underway nice work, just like that back to the head Bishop now a little more. 
more defensive minded with that cut above the eye. He's trying to protect it, trying to make sure the big champ, the heavy hitting Isaac Frost, can't get to it. That's it, just like that, just like that. Again, an effective tool. Headshots, champ, back to the head. This is where the heavyweight champ knows how to close the show. Isaac Frost attacking that cut above the eye, and the referee is thinking about stopping this fight. You can just tell. Andre Bishop has come this far, and he survived against the intimidating Isaac Frost. But he may lose this title fight based on a TKO stoppage. That cut over his eye may threaten his immediate future. And what it might do immediately right now in the ring is make him start taking chances. Make him gamble a little bit where he wouldn't have with the bigger guy. Six rounds in the books, six to go. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Good flush shot upstairs. Combos to the head, champ. Combos to the head. Downstairs. Upstairs. Downstairs. Upstairs. upstairs. Straight hook. Straight hook. Frost showing that walking yeah, stick nice right way, now, champ. utilizing the jab. Halfway through the seventh round. Piercing jab. He pops the jab, guys. I want to see that jab. Cover your head. Nice block by Andre Bishop. That's it. Just like that. Just like that. Combos to the head, champ. Combos to the head. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs, upstairs. Straight hook, straight hook. Bishop's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Just like that. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And that's hey, quit playing around with him and put that bastard away. Okay, nice work out there, kid. Looking good. Bleeding's under control. You know, that could have helped us out a little bit. I mean, he's even more tired now. He spent a lot of energy trying to take you out. Yeah, still seems like he's got a bit left. Yeah? Well, you got more. You got more energy. You got more power, and you got more heart. God, you got more heart than any other fighter I've ever known. Now, you turn it up. You take the fight to that fucker, and he won't know what hit him. This is your fight now, Andre. Take it to him. That's all you had to say, guys. Andre Bishop.
Frost is hoping for a late rally here, but it doesn't look like Frost is going to give way anytime soon. Instead, it is Andre Bishop looking good right here. Andre Bishop is now a stinging blow. And Frost goes down. Frost has never been down. The heavyweight champion of the world is on the canvas. Can he beat the count? Frost trying to get up. He goes down again. It's all over. It's all over. There's a new heavyweight champion of the world, and his name is Andre Bishop. Hey up, bitches. I knew you could do it, Andre. I'm proud of you. I hope we can work together now. Oh, I'd love to, Mr. McGee. But you might have some problems running things from the pit. Yeah. We had a deal. You gave me your work. She didn't give you my word. You had no idea who you were fucking with. Deal! You better get me out of this! Hey! You better... Deal! 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 